What's going on guys, Corey here with Xbox Tavern with another review. This time I'm taking a look at WrestleQuest, a brand new wrestling RPG in the style of a JRPG from the golden era of gaming. Yes, this has Chrono Trigger or early Final Fantasy vibes if you can tell by the gameplay alone. In a large toy box, you are taking over the toy or persona of the muchacho man and you are going through the ranks going through different wrestling promotions from within the toy box different factions of toys and making your way to the top like the cream rises not only do you play this newcomer you also have a side story where you play an established wrestler in a similar fashion toys again now as you play you will grab teammates and managers so there's kind of your RPG-ness. You're building your team in that fashion. And you're going to be going on your quest, going from town to town, event to event, all in the name of wrestling. Now let's focus on the gameplay here. You are navigating not only a inner small town city map, however you want to call it, uh, but there also is a world map as well that you're going to be using to traverse through all of these places. In the inner maps, you're going to be looking for treasure chests, so little collectibles here and there, uh, different things for your inventory that will help with your crafting or possibly equipment to upgrade your teammates or yourself. And then the main chunk of gameplay is going to be in the squared circle in the wrestling ring, as it were. Now, what makes this game stand out a little bit differently than one may think a wrestling RPG is, is the combat. It is turn-based. So when you enter the ring, you are going to have several options. Now, this is where the game kind of shines in a way, but also has some its own frustrations. Basically, you're going to pick a face button, uh, A, X, Y, or B on the Xbox controller. One of your attacks is going to be a basic attack. When you click on this, your character will usually run up to an enemy character and do a very basic attack. That is based on a quick time event. So one thing about this combat system is you can't really take your eyes off of it once you get into it because you will be presented with a plethora of quick time events, not only to help you maybe land the attack, do extra damage, but you may have the opportunity to counter an attack, which this will, this quick time event will help you do. There is a spot for special attacks. They also are called gimmicks. And in these gimmicks, you will possibly be doing a lot of damage. You can heal teammates, do elemental attacks. You can prepare and or do a tag team attack or call your manager up to get a benefit or a gimmick from them. So there are lots of things to do. You also have an items button, so with you, you will be carrying supplies to possibly heal yourself or give yourself some more action points to do special attacks. Things like that, typical of what you would find in turn-based RPG combat. Once you get your opponent down, Obviously a big thing in wrestling is pinning the opponent. Not every opponent is pinnable, but the ones that are will stay down and you'll have to use one of your turns to pin them. And the pinning works like a slider where there is a colored section of the bar moving left to right. And then there is an arrow also moving left to right at a different speed, maybe a different direction. And you need to click the button when they overlap. And you have to do that three times within 10 seconds. If you do that, the opponent is successfully pinned and they are out of the battle for that, that round. And of course, you're gonna be doing this with larger boss-like characters, uh, possibly handicap matches, as I'll call them, where you have to deal with several opponents and you may not have a full team. Uh, or a lot of times it's gonna be three on three because as I said, you're going to be building your own team up and going through these different wrestling promotions. Now the combat, I, I generally enjoy turn-based combat. This one is no exception. However, the thing that I kind of dislike a little bit is the quick time events. Uh, I think they do provide a level of complexity that I don't normally see in turn-based combat, but the fact that I'm used to picking my attack and 
kind of being done with it and watching what happens. I have to be on my toes for these quick time events. And so, I don't know, it just, it comes across as a little bit of a setback for me. Personally, it may not bother you at all. I like the gimmick system with the special attacks. There is a plethora of them. And as you go and play the story, you will find more gimmicks for your different wrestlers. Now I said you're gonna be playing mostly the role of the muchacho man. Uh, you're gonna be finding other characters and like I said, managers. And all of these characters are based off of either toys and or wrestlers. So the humor is really not on point with it. And the wrestling facade that is on top of this turn-based RPG is set to the max. So if you're a wrestling fan, you're probably going to spot a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of parodies that will probably put a smile on your face. There are a few actual real world wrestler references in the game, uh, mostly uh, the big names like uh, Randy Man, Macho Savage, the Road Warriors, Jake the Snake, they're in here, like they have their own toys as kind of statues in the game. And you're kind of playing the knockoff version of uh, the Macho Man. And, and you're gonna come across other toys that are the knockoffs of you know real life toys that you may have seen. And so it's really visually pretty to look at. Uh, I enjoy the pixel art that's here. The idle animations are on point. The crowd noises are good. So everything about this game sounds pretty good. The negatives besides the quick time events are for me navigating around the map when you're trying to actually get to the next quest marker. Uh, there are some slight puzzles you might have to do where your team may have to split up. You're gonna have to do some timing events where you're gonna have to cross a treacherous path pretty quickly and you may have to stop in the middle and some of those will hurt you and they'll bring down your health points that you're gonna have to manage. Those those health points won't refill automatically all the time so you're gonna have to be on top of that uh, as well and so if you die you are reset back to your last save um, and that could be pretty far back so uh, similar to other rpgs you just got to be on your toes with that but navigating the world is not my favorite it just feels sometimes a little slow and i get caught on a lot of different objects in the environment so a, a little bit of a drawback there i think that RPG fans would love this game. Um, it is an RPG, a classic JRPG style RPG uh, through and through. And I think wrestling fans are going to absolutely love it. There are a ton of references. I have just got back into wrestling this year and I'm still picking up on different terminology and things like that. So I'm catching some of it here and it's been really good. And some of these characters and promotions that they're riffing off of, uh, I'm starting to pick up. Now, if you didn't have a deep wrestling knowledge, I could see where it would ride a little thin and perhaps overstay its welcome. But that said, you're getting a lengthy campaign here. The variety in characters and, and environments that you'll come across is really nice. And uh, there's just some small quality of life improvements I think that they can make, uh, mostly dealing with traversing your character through these various maps uh, is, is my big focus of improvement. Uh, everything else has been fairly solid with the game, so take that for what it's worth. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you're a little enticed by WrestleQuest. If you aren't already on XboxTavern.com, be sure to go there so you can see my final score for WrestleQuest. And with that, I will see you in the next review.